guys, Sam here at NA Studios. Today I want to show you something cool you can do when you've recorded electronic drums. You've recorded them into Reaper, in this case. Um, and we're going to see how we can reinforce the kick and snare sounds, which sometimes get lost once you put other instruments in there. As always, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit like. Let's check it out. Okay, so we've got our drums in here, and they're sounding pretty good. Let's have a listen to them. Nice. This is a Roland TD-30 kit, I believe. Um, great sounding kit, great sounds on it. Um, but the problem is, once you get all the guitars and the bass in there, everything gets a little bit lost. Especially when you come into kind of a heavy section. Okay, so what we can't do now, we've recorded a stereo track, is just turn the kick and snare up, which is a shame. But what we can do is include some samples in there and derive the kick and snare sounds from the original track. Let's have a look how we can do that then. So in Reaper, um, Reaper is a fantastic software. Uh, there's a free trial software um, that you can use. And then if you like it, you can pay the, the very small price to update to the full version. Um, we can right click and we can go uh, duplicate tracks. So I'm going to duplicate the track twice. I'm going to make this one the kick and this one the snare. So now we've got three copies of the drums um, and we're just going to use this one with the kick. We're going to try and solo in on that kick using some EQ to start off with. Okay, so let's add an EQ. Now we know that the bottom end is going to be the main area that we want. So let's take a high shelf and just get rid of all that top end. Let's have a listen to that in solo. Okay, we're mostly just getting that kick now. Let's turn up that bottom end as well. Now we're clipping like crazy on the master. That doesn't matter at all. For, for this, it's, it's not important. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to add a gate. And we're going to pop that on there. And then we're going to make it so that the gate only opens on the kick. And because we've EQ'd it, the bottom end is really poking through and it's going to be loads louder than anything else. I'll show you here. There we go. We've just got the kick. Okay, so that's cool for now. We've managed to isolate the kick, but what does that really mean? We just kind of we can turn that up if we wanted to. We could then bring that in and we could add some um, top end to that. Maybe let's have a look at that. EQ again, and we could try and kind of sculpt that sound a little bit. doesn't really work that well, does it? So what I think we're best off doing here, we're going to remove that and we're going to replace a kick sample in there. Okay, for this, we need to click this little button here, send MIDI on open and close. So we're going to add the uh, built-in sampler, rear samplematic 5000, cool name. And what this is going to do is we're going to add a kick sample onto this so that every time the gate opens, it sends a MIDI note to this plug in here and it triggers a kick sample. So I'm just going to browse for a kick sample. I'm actually going to use um, one of my kick samples that I've made. Um, you can check it out in the description below. Um, it's got a shop.nastudios.co.uk and you can get loads of kick and snare samples. Um, there's some free ones there as well, so check that out. So we're just going to use this one kick drum. Now because we've EQ'd it, it's just the bottom end which is then going into the gate, which is just snipping out just that one bottom end hit. And then it's sending a MIDI note through to the sampler track and it's triggering a sample. So let's have a listen to that now. That's pretty cool. Let's have a listen to that with the uh, original drums. Without the kick. Then with. And remember, we, we're clipping here, so we can we can EQ this however we want, we can turn it up, we can turn it down, we can do whatever we want with it, really. Um, so what we'll notice now, then, is if we put everything in, we're probably going to be getting quite a lot of kick, but not very much snare. Just turn that kick down. Yeah, so now the, the snare's kind of missing. So guess what? Let's do the exact same thing to the snare. Let's go EQ. Now, this one might be a little tighter to get in on the snare. Let's have a listen. Let's just make sure I'm soloed. Yep, let's get that snare soloed. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to zone in on the uh, frequency range that the snare is occupying. Okay, so I'm going to go high pass. 
get rid of that bass drum. Let's go low pass here and get rid of all that cymbal nonsense. We can see the snare is around here. Now we're still getting a little bit of that kick, so we might need to fine tune that when we get the gate on. Let's have a look. Let's add a gate. Do the same thing again. Magic. Let's send a MIDI note. Let's bring that sampler in there. And then let's get one of the lovely samples. So this is a brass snare drum. Um, this was a Pearl Centitone Elite, if I remember rightly, 14 by five and a half. And this is a um, this is a sample that's got um, effects built into it. Um, in the sample pack, you also get some dry snares as well. Um, so this one's got compression, EQ, reverb, etc. On it, you also get the completely dry ones. Um, but for this instance, we're just gonna just gonna pop this on. Um, you can get the free ones of this, by the way, the, the hard hits. Check it out. Magic, there we go. So listen to the kick and snare. Okay, let's pop that back in the mix then. Let's listen to it firstly without those two and then I'm going to bring them in both at the same time. So this is just the drums on their own. They get lost. Let's bring them in. Three, two, one. Whoa, let's go crazy. Get rid of them. Kick and snare, disappear. I think that's kind of cool. So by uh, using three plugins then, for the kick and the snare, we are um, EQing to solo just that frequency area that that particular instrument is occupying. And then we are popping a gate on it and taking the, uh, the threshold up so that we're just getting the hits from that drum. But most importantly, we're sending a MIDI note. And then this sampler instrument is picking up uh, the MIDI notes over here because it starts at C minus one, ends at G9. This is actually sending it out on C1, I believe. 69, can't remember. C1. But it's occupying that space anyway. Okay, so that is a really simple, I think, and quite intuitive way of bringing in some drum samples. More importantly, it's a good way of reinforcing your kick and snare um, on a recording that you might not be able to manipulate as much as you'd like. The thing is, a lot of people have got these electronic kits and they sound absolutely fantastic. The sounds built into them are, are unbelievable. Um, but there's just not that level of um, control that you've got afterwards. So these drum samples are from my pack. What you could also do, you could record some of your own samples. You could record your own snare hits and then you could bring them into the sampler track and you could pop them on. You can also um, do some uh, fancy stuff with multi-velocities, um, but I'm going to leave that for another video. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit like. Check out those free samples down there. Probably something there you like. Thanks a lot. Take care.